Hi friends, recently you saw Dubai having floods and the amount of rain it saw has not been seen in the last 75 years. The cars were floating around like boats. The drainage system had no respite because it could not drain out the waters because there was no proper drainage because Dubai had not seen such rains. China again were having floods and all this is supposedly to be the effect of cloud seeding. So what exactly is cloud seeding? Does it have effect on the climate, on the environment? Is it good? Is it bad? Or are we really controlling the weather? Cloud seeding is a type of weather modification that aims to change the amount or type of precipitation, mitigate hail or disperse fog. The usual objective is to increase rain or snow either for its own sake or to prevent precipitation from occurring in days afterwards. So here basically you are not creating rain but changing the time and also the amount of precipitation so that it is there when it is required. The cloud seeding is undertaken basically by dispersing substances into the air that serve as cloud condensation or ice nuclei. Common agents include silver iodide, potassium iodide and dry ice with hygroscopic materials like table salt gaining popularity due to their ability to attract moisture. So here basically what exactly is happening is silver iodide or dry ice when injected into the clouds which are already bodies which contain water vapors. So these agents attract the water vapor particles and make them heavy and put them down as pre precipitation towards the earth and we have rainfall. So like I said, we are basically either delaying or advancing the rain and in this concession or the flow, what happens is the water vapor of the surrounding water bodies also go up because the rain falling increases the level and the heat makes it get into the gaseous mode and it goes up and starts collecting as clouds and may have a cascading effect over years to create such catastrophical rains or floods. So methods of dispersion basically include the aircraft and the ground based generators with newer approaches involving drones delivering electric charges to simulate rainfall or infrared laser pulses aimed at inducing particle formation. Despite decades of research and application, cloud seeding's effectiveness remains a subject of debate among scientists. So despite many countries having used this modus of controlling rain, snow or fog, how effective is it has been a big question mark because we are not changing anything of the weather but only either 
postponing it or preponing it. Then comes the negative effects, effects on health and which seemingly after tests have been carried out, <clears throat> there are no bad effects of cloud seeding except that we get rain when we want. These particles of dry ice, table salt or silver iodide are not harmful for humans or any kind of vegetation. So as per tests there have been no valid seen negative effects. The most common chemical used for cloud seeding is silver iodide and potassium iodide and solid carbon dioxide that is dry ice. So liquid propane which expands into gas has also been used. It can produce ice crystals at high temperatures then silver iodide after promising research the use of hygroscopic materials such as table salt is also becoming popular. So basically we need an agent to accumulate these water vapors onto these particles so that they can become heavy as water droplets and fall towards the earth. Since 2021 the United Arab Emirates have been using drones equipped with payload of electric charge emission instruments and customized sensors that fly at low altitudes and deliver an electric charge to air molecules. This method produced a significant rainstorm in July 21. For instance, in Al Ain it rained 6.9 millimeters on 20th and 21st of July. Coming on to the background, cloud seeding was tried way back in 1891 when Louis Gartman suggested shooting liquid carbon dioxide into rain clouds to cause them to rain. Then during the 1930s, the bagron findelshin process theorized that the supercooled water droplets present while ice crystals are released into the rain clouds could cause rain. So while researching aircraft icing, General Electric's Vincent Schaefer and Irving Langmuir confirmed the theory. Schaefer discovered the principle of cloud seeding in July 1946 through a series of serendipitous events. Following his ideology, he and Langmuir generated while climbing Mount Washington in New Hampshire, Schaefer and Langmuir's research associate created a way of experimenting with supercooled clouds using a deep fridge unit of potential agents to stimulate ice crystal growth. And that is the time when they saw that table salt with dry ice created an accumulation of these water vapors and could create this false rain of precipitation. Then there have been others also who have been experimenting and different agents have been found which create precipitation. But the valid first time experimentation was done by Schaefer who was one of the pioneers on generation of precipitation by cloud seed. Now these methods are being used by many countries such as China, Indonesia, Iran, Israel, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Southeast Asia, Malaysia, even Pakistan has tried to use it, Thailand, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, United States obviously not left behind, Canada, Bulgaria, France, Spain, Russia, Germany, Austria, Slovenia, United Kingdoms and Australia. And India also has 
used this methodology in Tamil Nadu and also in Maharashtra in the Latur area and tried to control precipitation but then they have got the rains when they wanted by the clouds at the higher altitudes which had water droplet contents and were partially successful. So the question of the effectiveness of cloud seeding still remains a big question mark and also there are environmentalists who are saying that the rains or the floods in Dubai were not effects of cloud seeding but changes in the climate due to heating up and the vapors from the sea going and creating this catastrophic rainfall. So keep listening to us for more such kind of information. And if you have liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. Jai Hind!